research on theory X and theory Y. So in the 1950s and 1960s, Douglas McGregor came up with the idea that managers should bundle workers into one of two groups. Now the majority of those workers, McGregor said, should be theory X. Theory X is the idea that workers are lazy. They are motivated by money, so you might want to put financial motivation methods in place in order to motivate them, because they are lazy. That they don't enjoy work, they need supervision to be performing to the level that is expected of them. And they do not want to make decisions, so you shouldn't delegate to them. You should look to use an autocratic or authoritarian management style, maybe a tells cells if we're talking about the Taliban Schmidt continuum. And they're not interested in the needs of the business. So if you're thinking about change, the manager put it in change, then if they're theory X, then when we're thinking about resistance, Cotter, a resistance to change, maybe they would be along the lines of the reasons for their resistance to the change would be through parochial self-interest. Now that's the majority of workers that McGregor said. He did actually say there are a minority of workers that are theory Y. Theory Y is that workers are motivated. Workers are contributing to the organisation and they enjoy contributing to the organisation, they enjoy working. They do not need close supervision to perform to the level expected of them and they want to make decisions so you can delegate to them. Um, you might want to employ, if you're a manager, you might want to employ a democratic, a democratic or even a laissez-faire type of management style because that's what's going to motivate them. Maybe overall it's got to be more subordinate orientated. Other things to think about is that if they do make bad performance, these theory Y workers, this minority, it's probably due to the fact that they're bored because of monotonous jobs that they're having to do. So you might want to think about non-financial methods of motivation in order to motivate those theory Y workers, such as job enlargement, job rotation and job design. I hope that helps on theory X and theory Y and I'll see you at the next sesh.